What's up? Today is Saturday the 11th of July and basically I'm going to give a recap of the triathlon today that I did. There's the shirt, the Hag Lake triathlon shirt. <laughs> Pretty awesome shirt. Uh, so last year, just to kind of recap, I did 127.34. It's an hour 27 and 34 seconds. Um, the swim I did in 16.32. First transition was 256. Did the bike in 4341. Did the second transition in 139. And then I did the run in a 2246. So this year did the swim in 1441. So if you remember 1632 from last year, 1441 this year, improved my swim time. Uh, my transition number one was a little slower i uh, did 256 last year this year 307 did the bike in 4109 this year instead of 4341 so shaved a couple minutes off there uh, transition two i did actually faster this year i did a minute and eight seconds versus a minute 39 last year and then my run i did faster so uh, run last year 2246 this year 2150 all in all, I shaved over six minutes off my time. I did an hour 21.56, uh, which is awesome. I didn't hit the hour 20 mark that I was hoping for, but uh, I did very well. It was a great day out there. Uh, the course was good. The water was super warm. It was crazy how warm the water was. It felt like a bathtub almost. I mean, it was so warm, uh, which made the swim nice. Uh, Swimming in cold water kind of sucks, but yeah. There's the finisher medal. Got a guy swimming on the bottom, then a bike rider and a runner on the top. 33rd annual uh, Hag Lake triathlon. Pretty cool, nice medal. Um, yeah, it was fun. I think the kid that won it didn't like it in an hour eight or something like that. Hour eight, hour nine. I don't know, I didn't pay attention too much because I didn't win it. Um, but yeah, it was a great swim, great bike ride, and then the run, it just felt awesome on the run. So I was able to crank out a 2155K. Not too bad. Uh, I did incur a small injury right there on my thumb. I don't know what I did. It was in the after the swim in the first transition, but that sucker just kept on bleeding and bleeding and bleeding. So now my handlebars have a whole bunch of blood all over it, and yeah, it's kind of gross, but hey, if you ain't bleeding, you ain't leading, right? I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, so now I got a couple weeks off, and August 2nd is my next race. So I've got one, two, three weeks. Yeah, three weeks until my next race, which will be out at uh, Blue Lake out in uh, Troutdale. In Gresham area, another another triathlon, another sprint triathlon. Uh, as we get closer to that, I'll talk about the times and everything. So uh, I did fairly well there. I think I did hour ten and some change earlier this year. So it'd be interesting to see if I can shave anything off of that one. So anyway, uh, that's all I got for today. So I'm resting up. Going to be uh, on my foam roller here in a little bit, probably after dinner. Um, but uh, oh, and talking uh, about the triathlon. Some more here, the uh, the goo packs and the gels that I used today. Uh, I really only used one gel, and that was right after the swim getting onto the bike. Uh, what I did is one of my water bottles, I had taken, just put straight water, threw it in the freezer, that way it was ice cold for uh, the whole race. And then the other one I put uh, like a pre-workout drink into. Uh, has a lot of... Um, not caffeine, but it's got a lot of uh, get up and go in it. It just gets me fired up. I don't know. It just makes my whole body tingle when I take it. It's awesome. So I had that in my uh, in my front water bottle, and I was sipping off of that while I was riding the bike. So I think combination of those two really helped keep my legs going throughout the the ride, so that they weren't shot come the uh, come the old uh, 
the run. So uh, I didn't look at the exact mileage of the bike ride. I know it was up over 12 miles, and I didn't look at my exact top speed, but I did see 37 at one point. So don't know if I got over 37 or what it was, but uh, there's a couple sketchy parts on that ride. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it had one piece of equipment failure, and that was my jersey, that red jersey from yesterday's video. I got one arm in, and then the other arm wasn't cooperating, so I just threw the jersey down and took off. Uh, you know, it's one of the things you got to do. You got to adapt and overcome in those uh, transitions. If something's not working, skip it, leave it, throw it behind. Um, and then, uh, oh, the other piece of equipment failure was the tri belt with the uh, number on it. Had to turn it around and put it on on the front instead of on the back, and that. Uh, one of the little buttons that holds everything together the button popped and I lost the button on the run not a huge deal so we'll just throw a safety pin in it for the, the next one So anyway like I said I'm out of here so I will talk to you tomorrow hopefully my eyes won't look so tired because I am tired but uh, yeah so thanks keep watching we'll see what we come up with for tomorrow